Loved ones of a man killed at a gas station in northeast Baltimore are calling for the business to be shut down. As we first told you yesterday, that gas station is a frequent scene of trouble. WJZ is live there right now, and Jessica Albert spoke with the nephew of the victim who is now planning a rally. Jessica. Denise Albert Stevenson's nephew says that his uncle was just coming here to get some cigarettes on Sunday when he was shot in the head and died here. He says no one should die like this, and he wants the city to help him get this gas station shut down. It's time to shut it down. Jamar Day's uncle, 56 year old Albert Stevenson, was shot and killed at this gas station on Havenwood Road, not far from Morgan State. Who's going to be next? The Morgan State student? It happened Sunday night. Baltimore police say at least two people walked up to the gas station and opened fire, killing Stevenson and injuring another man. Day says his uncle had just gone in to get some cigarettes. I don't wish this on any family to have homicide detectives in the living room, you know, explaining what happened to your family member. Uh, for them to be able to come by and see the scene where your family member took their last breath. Day and his family want the gas station shut down. It's near the Northwood Common Shopping Center, which was recently rebuilt. However, the gas station was not renovated. Community members say there's been a lot of problems here over the years. WJZ found out from police that officers have been called here about 80 times over the last three months. I'm asking um, Commissioner Michael Harrison to put a pad padlock on his business, at least so we can investigate what's going on. Uh, because my uncle's death is not going to be in vain. WJZ reached out to the city about its padlock law. A spokesperson tells us they are aware of concerns about the incidents here and says the city has to meet certain legal requirements before a business can be shut down. We also contacted the owner of the shopping center. He told us they have asked the city to act immediately, saying they feel it's necessary to protect the community. Day's family tells us they're also reaching out to local leaders and organizations. We need to come up with a way to keep our community safe. Uh, if that's going to be working with the owners to get better security um, and better things of that nature, but we have to do something. And I did speak with the owner of this gas station yesterday. He says that he does plan to ramp up security here. Day says he wants to try to hold a rally either Friday or Saturday. He wants to honor the memory of his uncle, but he also wants to try to gain support from people who would like to see this gas station closed down. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.